Although many players have gained fame and fortune, pro football is a team game, and the greatest glory belongs to the greatest team. Out there. Nobody tackle. Just grab it, everybody. Grab, grab, grab. Nobody tackle. Put your shoulders in there out there. Vince Lombardi's passion for perfection made a small community in the Midwest a synonym for team excellence. In Green Bay, Wisconsin, on December 31st, 1967, the temperature was 15 degrees below zero. Lombardi's Packers and the Dallas Cowboys battled each other and the elements in a cruel rite of manhood that would decide the championship of the National Football League. the Packers won this game easily as it first appeared they would. They would have been remembered as the team of the 60s. But by winning the game as they eventually did, they became a team for the ages because the character of their performance surpassed the achievement itself. Starr takes the ball, backpedals, looks downfield, flips a short pass, complete to Anderson. He's at the 35. He moves to the 30-yard line, and it will be very close. Trailing by three points with time running out, the Panthers drove 68 yards across the frozen field and into legend. He flips the pass. It's complete to Chuck Mercine. He's at the 25, the 20, down to the 15, and out of bounds, and it the 11-yard line. Starr takes the snap. It's to Mercine. Pops up the middle, the five. He's inside the five to the two-yard line. Bart Starr coming over to check with Coach Vince Lombardi. 20 seconds remaining in this football game. The Packers inches away from something that has never before happened in pro football history. A third straight NFL championship. The Packers come out of the huddle. Starr begins the count. Takes the snap. He's got the quarterback. He's got the In the 1960s, Vince Lombardi's Packers came close to perfection. History has been made. In the 1970s, Don Shula's Miami Dolphin 